Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Good morning, second grade. Happy Wednesday. Welcome back. My name is Mrs. Vang, and I'm so excited to have you join me in our PBS classroom so that we can become amazing readers and writers. I have another book to share with you guys along with Black History Month. Remember, February is the month that we celebrate Black History Month. And I have a book for you called Fly High, the story of Bessie Coleman by Louise Borden and Mary Kay Kroger, illustrated by Teresa Fallon. Did you know that Bessie Coleman was our first female African-American pilot? I know she was an amazing pilot who did all these stunt, uh, or she flew her plane in all these stunt shows. Boys and girls, if you want to read more about Bessie Coleman, make sure you are ch checking this book out on Sora or at your county library to learn all about Bessie Coleman. Okay, boys and girls, are you ready to see which school made it into our top five countdown? Let's see, coming in at number three today is Ewing. Good job, Ewing. Awesome job. You guys, I think, are new to our countdown this week. Good job reading, boys and girls. Now, remember, if you want your school to show up on our countdown, make sure you're checking out books and reading them on Sora. Okay, boys and girls, are you guys ready to get started? Awesome job. Oh, but before we get started, don't forget, boys and girls, I would love to hear from you guys. And I would love to get a letter from you guys. Don't forget, you can send it to me here. I'm using the address that you see below. Tell me what you're learning. Tell me what you like. Tell me books that you love. And when you write to me, I'll send you one of these fun activity books. So don't forget to put your home address so that I can send these to you. Okay, boys and girls, are you guys ready to get started? Awesome, let's start with, that's right, training our ears. So get your listening ears, turn them up high. We're gonna be identifying syllables today. So I'm gonna say a word, you can either clap it out, you can tap it out, or what my son loves to do, he likes to use his whole body and he taps it out on his body to see how many syllables there are. Are you ready? Okay, so I'm gonna say a word, you tell me how many syllables, ready? First word, person. Say it with me, person. How many syllables was that? Good job, person, two. Did you get it? Awesome job. Okay, let's go on to the next word. The next word is together. Say it with me, together. How many syllables? Let's check it. Together, how many? Three, good job. Okay, last word, ready? Hop. Say it with me, hop. Okay, now tap it. How many syllables? Hop, just one. How did you do, boys and girls? I know, easy peasy. You guys got it. Awesome job listening. Okay, are you guys ready to go to our sound of the week? Awesome. So this week, remember, we're gonna continue with our R control vowel pattern. This week, our sound is the ear sound. Can you say that with me? Ear. Good job, boys and girls. And the ear sound has three spelling patterns, meaning there are three ways that we can spell that ear sound. So help me say it. I'm going to grab my reading fingers here to help us. Ready? I want you to help me um, spell it and say the sound. Ready? So the first way to spell the ear sound is E-E-R. Good. Ear. Good job. E-E-R says ear. Good job. The next sound is with the E-A-R that says ear. Help me spell and say it again. E-A-R says ear ear. Good job. And the last way that we can spell the ear sound is with the E-R-E -E that says ear. Help me spell and say it. E-R-E -E says ear. 
Good job, boys and girls. So three different ways to spell that ear sound. Now, let's practice reading. I have some words for us to um, blend together. And if you look, here's a really long word. Did you guys see that? But guess what? If you break them up into syllables, then you can read them. And to break them into syllables, we're gonna be breaking them up by using word par and by keeping the R control vowels together, okay? So here's how I'm gonna do it. I see this first little word, this says what? In, you're right. But guess what I also see? I also see, last week, we learned the ER sound, or a couple weeks ago, you're right. Some of you guys are saying, we didn't learn that last week, you're right. A couple weeks ago, we learned the er sound. That's an R control vowel, so we're gonna keep that together. And this week, we were learning, where we are learning the ear sound, so we're gonna keep that together, because we keep all the R control vowels sounds together. So if you keep them all separated like this together, then now we can um, blend it by syllables. Ready? The first syllable is in. Good. The second syllable says t, er, ter. The third syllable is f, ear, fear. Now put it all together. Ready? In, ter, fear. Good. What's that word? Interfere. Good job, boys and girls. Interfere like my son does not like it when I interfere with his games when he's playing with his friends. Interfere. Look at you reading that long word, boys and girls. Awesome job. Okay, now let's read the next word. Ready? This is, says b eared. What's my word? Beard. Awesome job. How many syllables was that? Just one. Good job. Okay, now what if I want to build a word? We're going to be building some words. What if I want to build a word? Hear, hear, can you hear me? Good, sound, oh, segment if you need to. Ha, ear, first sound was the ha. Good job, that was the H sound. H says ha. Now if my sentence says hear, as in can you hear me, which spelling pattern am I going to use? Oh good, I hear some of you. It's the E-A-R, and here's the trick. Here has the E-A-R like ear, and it's the same as can you hear me? Now, what if I wanted to spell the word here, but as in um, I am here in a PBS classroom, here. Good, it's not E-A-R anymore. Did you know that? It's the, oh, not the E-E-R. It's the, good, I hear you guys. It's the E-R-E, -E, here. So here and here, what do we call that? A homophones, you're right. Homophones are words that, are, that sound the same, but are spelled differently and have different meanings. And boys and girls, that's why these R control vowels are so tricky because there are different ways to spell them, but they do have different meanings. So as you're reading, make sure you know the different meanings. Okay. Now let's go and practice sorting my words with a different spelling pattern. Ready? Help me read it and tell me how, or tell me where I need to put them depending on how they're spelled. With the E-A-R, E-E-R, or E-R-E. -E. Ready? First word, deer. Good, and this is the deer like the animal with the E-E-R. Good, next word, near. Good, did you see that with the E-A-R? Next word, oh, let's go up here. Year with the E A R. Good. Next word, clear. Good. With another E A R. Next word, steer. You're right. We used that yesterday in our sentence. Steer. Next word, mirror. Good. With the E R E. Next word, cheers. Good. That's E E R. And here, again, there's that homophone, but here as in a location right here. Good job, boys and girls, sorting these with me. Now, let's go and practice our, you got it, our high frequency words. Because remember, it's important to know all of our sound spelling that we are learning so that we can blend words, but it's also important to know our high frequency words because these are words that you should be able to read automatically. That means as fast as you say your name because they show up so frequently when we are reading and writing. All week we have 10 words, 
Every day we're going to focus on two. Here are our two words that we're going to focus on today. Ready? I want you to help me read and spell them. First word is young. Good. Help me read it again. Young. Spell it with me. Y-O-U-N-G. Young. Good job. Next word, again. Help me read it. Again. Help me spell it. A-G-A-I-N. Again. Good job. Now I have two sentences for us. Help me read my two sentences. Help me try to figure out which word is going to go in my sentence. Ready? The mm boy painted a picture. Next sentence. Ask the teacher your question mm. Okay, which word do you think goes in the first sentence? The good job. I hear you. The young boy painted a picture that does make sense so that must mean again goes in the next sentence ask the teacher your question again good job let's quickly practice reading all the words that we are learning this week ready young again neither eyes gone stood inside behind happened and house awesome job boys and girls okay now, do you remember yesterday we were learning about abbreviations? Abbreviation is a really long word, but guess what? It means it's a short way to write a word. And sometimes we can abbreviate a word when we're writing so we don't have to write the really long word. And don't forget, abbreviation starts with a capital and has a period. So here's my sentence. I want you to help me read it, and let's see if we can figure out the abbreviation for some of these words. Ready? Here's my first sentence. It says, Mr. and Mrs. Lopez live on West Avenue. Now, remember what we learned yesterday. Mr. and Mrs. can be abbreviated because this is a really long way to write Mr. So Mr., do you guys remember? How do I abbreviate Mr.? Good job, capital M R period. Mr. How do I abbreviate Mrs.? Good. Capital M R S period. And is there another word I can abbreviate? Good. Avenue. And avenue is capital A V E avenue. So Boys and girls, it's important that when you're reading, you are still saying the full name. It's just when you're writing that we're going to make it short. So this still says Mr. and Mrs. Lopez live on West Avenue. So remember, it's also important that when we are reading, that we are still saying it the long way. Let's see. How about this one? Dr. Grady ha uh, has an office on Liberty Street. Doctor, how do we abbreviate that? Good, capital D-R, period, and street, good, S-T, street. Again, when we read it, read the whole thing. Dr. Grady has an office on Liberty Street. Awesome job, boys and girls. Boys and girls, you guys are doing such a good job and you're working so hard for me. So I'm gonna leave you with, tell yourself this, boys and girls, say it. I am working hard on this because you are. Don't forget to come back tomorrow so that we can continue our learning. Have a great day. Bye-bye.